So today is a brief update with regards to the um, Australian points-based system and the changes um, that may take effect as of 1st of January 2021. Um, yesterday you would have seen, um, it's quite a high topic within the news currently as we speak, um, that the government released a, a glimpse proposal as to what the new Australian points-based system would look like as of the 1st of January 2021. So the government have confirmed that their aim is to attract the best um, and the brightest um, talents from all over the world. Essentially, um, they have also confirmed that they will not introduce a visa route for any low-skilled workers um, and that the EU nationals will be expected to integrate into this new Australian points-based system um, by the end of this transition period of um, the 1st of January 2021. As of the 1st of January 2021, free movement will also end. Therefore, EU nationals that are currently in the UK, although they are, because they are already in the UK and provided that they do obtain settled status or pre-settled status before the transition period ends, their rights will still remain the same. However, those EU nationals that come into the UK after the 1st of January 2021 will be expected to now apply for a visa under this new Australian points-based system. So let's briefly have a look at the changes um, and what effect the, home, the government have provided so far. So firstly, if you're a company and you intend to hire migrants, be it EU nationals or non-EU nationals, as of the 1st of January 2021, you must have a sponsor licence because you will be required to sponsor these migrants in order for them to work for you. That's step one. Step two is they would then be required to obtain a visa, such as a Tier 2 general visa, for example. Um, and the rules on this now, in terms of the requirements as they currently stand, are slightly more flexible. So the proposals are that they, they will be required to have a job offer uh, before being able to come to the UK. But they will also be required to now obtain at least 70 points in order for them to meet the relevant criteria, i.e., the categories in terms of them earning 70 points would be based on their skills, their salary, so the salary threshold. At the moment, it's currently a minimum of 30,000, and that will be re reduced to 25,600. Um, the salary threshold, although is at 25,600 or will be, um, they will can offer them a lower salary threshold, but they would be required to meet the relevant points to meet the 70 points in other categories, i.e. the English language, um, or if they are studying a relevant PhD criteria for a STEM field um, within, um, yeah, within a STEM field, or um, if they have the relevant job um, which they they study their PhD within. Again, there will also no longer be a cap with regards to the amount of visas that are issued for workers, um, and the skill level will also be reduced from A levels to uh, from degree level to A levels. Um, so, for example, those who are currently working in the UK are expected to have the skills at degree level, but now that will be re reduced so that um, the skill threshold is opened up slightly more um, under this category. Another um, set to also bear in mind with regards to the changes is that although this is less restrictive for the non-EU nationals, with regards to EU nationals that will then have to integrate into the system, it is a lot more of a higher threshold, as those EU nationals currently have got free movement rights. So again, there is a lot of criti criticism at the moment um, with regards to this restriction on the EU nationals and them having to meet these requirements for the future. So do watch this space. Um, there are other changes that have been included in the proposals which relate to students, for example. Um, and for, with regards to a visa which is currently available called the Tier 5 Youth Mobility Scheme. This visa is opened up for about eight countries currently. Um, those include Australia, um, Japan, um, New Zealand, Monaco. Um, there are various countries, these eight countries, and it's eligible for those who are 18 to 30 years old who can come to the UK with no restriction in terms of them working. They don't have to be sponsored. Um, and they're able to remain in the UK for two years. There was a cap on this, and there still is, but they are saying in terms of the government that this will increase to 20,000. So again, they have made this, the new rules, or the new proposal, let's say, um, a little less restrictive, but 
have they considered EU nationals and have they considered their rights going forward in the future given that there is no current visa category or future category with regards to low skilled workers. We will have to watch this space and see what happens with regards to um, new and further updates. So do keep in touch um, and do continue to watch our next videos as there will be further updates on this. Thank you.